Beloved ones, it is never easy to be at the beginning of an evolutionary stage, as we've pointed out. But this one is a particularly large evolutionary step for us to make our way into a whole different reality, different building blocks of life. And so you can imagine that the challenge is also very large. This is where the eclipse comes in. It is here to assist us. It brings the energies of closing down the old and ushering in the new birth of perception, which is the new birth of the sun. It is the time for us to do this. And we have to eliminate all resistance to thinking that we can postpone this, it's too difficult to do, well, it's too overwhelming. Beloved ones, there is a principle of magic that says, in essence, that all resistance is the result of loss of perspective. And normally, all failure and all resistance to life is the result of not understanding because we lose the perspective of ourself as eternal beings and not understanding that we are no longer subject to time. The bondage of time has no hold on a being that has overcome the predominant transience of the passage of time. In addition to that, we lose the perspective that we are the creator of our own boundaries and limitations. That limitlessness is part of timelessness, is part of the reality of the white light. Boundless love, boundless power, no limitations. This is the gift of where we are. But we have to now make a major change of attitude, a change of how we live our lives, and the Eclipse is here to help us. Let us study this so that we can embrace and utilize its energies. We have up till now, as the spearhead, as the way showers of human evolution, which has been the spearhead of cosmic evolution, for other races as well. We have had certain things as a given. Every time there was a new reality needed, we were handed on a platter its principles. And all we had to do is master those principles. In many cases, it required actually only understanding those principles and attempting to live them, but the understanding of it created an electrical-based grid that would allow a stage to form for us to play out on as we attempt to live them. This time, it is different. We are not being handed the principles on a platter. We are asked to live completely differently than we did before. So, let us look at and summarize some of these that we have already discussed and some others we haven't. Firstly, the fact that we are not handed these principles means that truth lived from our highest inspiration is that which will establish the new principles of the white light. Why were we not handed this? Well, because we have stepped out of the cycles of life. Our expansion and our evolution now goes in a linear fashion. Previously, wherever we've been, we've been before. We have never been before in this level of evolved life. 